All right, let's talk about the earthquake. Did you guys feel it this morning? No. No, what so time? you did not. Last night I got an alert because I have those shake, shake alerts. Out. Did it, and it alarm? Yes. Yeah, it scared me. It scared me too. <laughs> 12.30. Yes. How, what would you say, you, how many seconds do you think it alarmed you before you felt the actual quake? Um, I would say like three seconds. Okay, that's, I, that's what I said too. So I, my alarm went off of the shake app alert and no, it's, I heard it, it said, burr, burr, warning, it, earthquake, earthquake coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. mm -hmm. <laughs> but like, and I was like trying to process it because of course it was like middle of the night. And then three to four seconds exactly. later, you could feel the quake. Wow. Yeah. So this is fantastic. I mean, sure, three to four seconds, you're thinking. It can make a difference though. It can make a difference. Um, so that was really interesting. But that was a 4.8 uh, magnitude preliminary earthquake in El Centro, mm -hmm. uh, about 91 miles east of us here in San Diego. There's been several uh, aftershocks, and one including as high as a 4.1. So I'm curious to see, because the my Shake Alert app, Shake Alert app, <laughs> Shake Alert app, Shake Alert 5, right? <laughs> did it say 5.5? <clears throat> Initially it did. Initially it did, right? But it actually sounded again, because there was a 4.1. Mm. about yeah. 20 minutes later. So I wonder if it alerts, because uh, it didn't alert for the 3.7s or the anything below a f magnitude uh, four. So I'm curious to see if it alerts uh, just with that three to second gap there, uh, anything that's stronger than a four on the Richter scale. Here's a quick uh, kind of explanatory of the different intensities of shaking and the different magnitudes. So we had a 4.8 there in El Centro. We get about 10,000 of these per year. It's light noticeable shaking and it's the energy equivalent of 33,000 pounds of explosive. Uh, again, as we get into five and six, that's when we get into those moderate to stronger impacts, but no reports of damage or injury at this point in the El Centro area.